Perhaps the biggest surprise of that draft, at least in the early picks, is Derek Stingley Jr. going third overall to the Houston Texans. Sauce Gardner has been the first cornerback off the board in a lot of mock drafts recently. But Matt has Gardner going to the Jets. We're going to trade up in a projected trade with the Panthers, number six overall. So, Matt, right back to you. Why do you have Derek Stingley going third overall to the Houston Texans? Yeah, Field, I think with mock drafts, those of us who do these for a living, you have to always remind people, it's what you're hearing, not always what you would do. And mm. I think the connections from the Houston Texans to Derek Stingley Jr. throughout the past week is something that I've heard nonstop. Folks at LSU have told me no team has done more work on Derek Stingley Jr. They have an obvious need at the corner position. They really have an obvious need almost everywhere but quarterback and left tackle right now, though. So I think the Texans can stay pat and take a player who, were he healthy, would be one of the best players in this draft class and throughout the process has proven he's medically ready and he's ready to be back to that player that we saw dominate in 2019. The concern with Derek Stingley is durability. He's played one full season going back to his freshman year. While the talent is undeniable, we don't know what we're getting. And look no further than Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets. He comes over in a high-profile trade for James Harden, never plays. The Nets get swept. And the people that are actually making the decisions come Thursday night are humans. And they're going to be influenced by recent events. And when you talk to some people around the league, People notice what happened or didn't happen in Ben Simmons' case where he wasn't available. So hopefully Derek Stingley has a great career and this injury bug is behind him. But when you think about him compared to someone like Sauce Gardner who didn't miss a game and Derek Stingley, again, only played one full season, that will be a factor in determining who goes first between Stingley and Gardner. Well, Mike T, hopefully these humans were watching film of Derek Stingley as opposed to watching the NBA playoffs. Because if you watch the film of Derek Stingley Jr., he's a dominant force when he's on that football field. Freshman year, he was dominant. Literally, every time you put on the tape, you just, you're in awe. Like, you look, think about guys like Patrick Peterson, guys who played at LSU, right? Tredavious White, all these different guys who were dominant. He followed in that same line. And so, for me, I get really, really excited about Derek Stingley Jr. Not just because what he did in his pro day and his 40 time and how smooth he looked in his drills and being healthy, but the type of football player he is, the type of technician he is. His eyes are always in the right place at the right time. That's why he's always affecting the game in a dominant way. You know, who would have thought that Ben Simmons, by the way, <laughs> was going to make it into NFL Live? That highlight package we have <laughs> cut up right there doesn't involve much on-court activity from Ben Simmons. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.